<laughs> Let's see how big of a difference taping your ductwork can make. Here's a quick little overview of the system. Oneida Dust Gorilla Pro 5 horsepower, and it goes into this spiral ductwork, and it all looks fantastic. Goes all the way around here. And let me show you a couple of spots that I can just think about real quick. You can see right there where those pipes go together. There's a uh, there's a little you got a shadow right there that's not going to hold air. This is all very good stuff, but as you can see, there's things like this right here where that pipe is bent and put together. There's going to be there's going to be some air leaking in there, and every time you have an unsealed joint, you need to tape it. So just a quick little show and tell. Here's an adapter, and they come four, five, six, seven, all the way through this whole system. They're like this, but they're crimped, so they'll fit in here. So you put them in there. You don't want to shove them all the way in, but just right there, and then you put your screws in. But you can see that it's not an exact fit. You put your put your screws in there and this deforms and, and stuff like that. So you end up getting air leaks. So if you have a hundred air leaks like that, that's like having a few blast gates open. So this is the closest blast gate. And I'm also gonna do the furthest away one. This anemometer, it is calibrated for four inch pipes. So let's go ahead and start. Let's call it 460. Let's go through the furthest one. I did an absolutely horrible job of filming this right here. You can't see the anemometer going up to the pipe. You'll just have to take my word. And by the time I saw this, I was already editing and I can't untape the pipe to try it again. So I'll do better next time. We'll call it 240. You get the tape that's made for this and you just put it around there and smash it down seal it to the pipe and then after you do all this then you'll be good at it by the time you're done we're going to rinse and repeat that about 95 more times this particular system has 150 feet of pipe 10 drops going to tools 95 unsealed joints and all those corner joints that have the seam in them that need to be siliconed i siliconed all of those after this and the results got even better. I said all that to say, if you have a smaller dust collector, like a smaller horsepower dust collector, this one's a five horsepower dust collector and it didn't have enough power to overcome all of those small leaks. So if you have an underpowered dust collector with a bunch of leaks like that, it's gonna underperform severely. So if you didn't think it was that important when you put it in, go ahead and rethink that. Go ahead and tape that stuff up and let's tune up our dust collectors. A couple hours later and a couple rolls of tape. Let's see what this did. It did 460 before. Let's get started. This thing's amazing, straight to out of limits. Now we'll go to the furthest one away and see how that does. This is the furthest one, it's about 60 feet away. Let's see what happens. I did a way better job of filming this one, but this anemometer calibrated to four inch pipe goes out of limits at 600 CFM. So that's what out of limits means. It just means this machine won't read it any higher. So all these machines are, every machine in the shop is over 600 CFM, way above. I think that clearly demonstrates having air leaks in your piping, how much that will affect your airflow and how much taping it will help. If you wanna see another video, maybe even the one of me setting this whole thing up, we'll be right there. And if that one's not there, there'll be another video there, probably over dust collection too. So come see me over there.